Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to share this preview of the new Catwoman premium format statue based on Michelle Pfeiffer's version of Catwoman from the 92 film Batman Returns. Uh, I'm really liking the way this looks. I saw the original preview image, I think it was just two images they released, and I, uh, I, I knew that I was going to be very tempted to get this, but now that these images, all these images have been released, I am really, really liking it. Um, I think the face looks great. The outfit, the way they've done it, looks really good. I like the pose and I like the base. It doesn't take up too much space. The Catwoman statue that I have uh, by Sideshow Collectibles, the base is huge. It's like the size of a cake. Uh, so it's nice that this one will be easier to display for me. Um, I just think it looks fantastic. I can't wait. Um, I was never too keen on the purple suit version of Catwoman, the premium format statue that came out. That was the most recent one. Uh, it just didn't make any sense to me, the version of Catwoman with the long flowing hair out the back of her outfit because she's a cat burglar and she's all about subtlety of leaving no traces when she, you know, takes what she needs from, or takes what she wants from these museums and uh, people's homes or wherever the hell she breaks into. So having a long flowing mane of hair out the back of your outfit, that's going to leave hair behind forensics. They're going to find that shit and they're going to catch it. So that never really made any sense to me. Uh, I do prefer the version of Catwoman that's all in black and everything's covered up and she is just a stealthy beast of a thief. Um, 92, Batman Returns, very gothic, dark, but funny, very strange film. I love it, I appreciate it even more now that I'm an adult and I can go back and watch it and things that went over my head uh, dialogue-wise when I was a kid, now I get them and uh, that film is just perfect balance of dark, humor, uh, gothic. It's, it's got everything that I like. Um, it can get a little bit silly at times, like, you know, the penguins with rocket launchers and stuff on their backs. But, you know, it's Tim Burton. It's still a great film. I'm not complaining. Um, I'm really happy that they are releasing this premium format Catwoman statue. I'm all over it. I can't wait to get it. Can't wait to do the videos. Can't wait to have it displayed beside my other black suit Catwoman statue by Sideshow. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, hopefully, we're all waiting for Hot Toys to finally confirm that they are going to be doing a 1-6 scale Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. They did announce it some years back in a single poster. Uh, had Batman, the Penguin, and Catwoman on it. It used to be the old film poster on my old VH VHS video. The image that they released was actually the front cover of my video of Batman Returns. So, until then, and there's also a tweet ahead, I think it's called, 1-6 scale statue. Uh, that is about to come out any day now, so I'll probably try and get that as well, to be honest. You know I'm a big Catwoman fan, and I don't have anything Michelle Pfeiffer uh, Catwoman related in the collection at the moment. There is a Kumik uh, Catwoman based on Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, kind of unofficial. Um, it looks nice, but I, it's just not good enough for my high standards, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it at that, and I will let you know more about this as I find out more info. I'm going to be uh, getting this as soon as it comes out, and I will be bringing you the goodness. So I will see you later. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you getting this? Do you think it looks good? Do you think it looks bad? Let me know. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.